Ruben, what he actually aimed for was, you know, to get to take that film to Cannes and have 2,200 people sit in their seats, in their tuxes, watching people sitting in their seats, in mm -hmm. their tuxes, doing nothing. Mm -hmm. That was actually what he was going for when we recorded it. He said, I can't wait to take this to Cannes right. and, have, and, and see what happens when we sit there. Ruben has been, I mean, he's been taking the Palme d'Or everywhere. Right. Um, so in, I mean, and I think we've, we've been traveling a lot together. So we've, we've been in like, I don't know how many countries with the palm and everything. Mm -hmm. And it's been all over Sweden as well. And at one point we wanted to do sort of, you know, a photo reenactment of the whole week in Cannes, mm -hmm. you know, us arriving, all the expectation, the screening. And, and we were, we had a crew, like, I mean, a lot of cameras, a lot of st shit, everything, lights. And so we packed everything up and put everything in a car and drove around. And at one point we were sort of like, okay, let's, let's move on. We need to do the next thing. And we got everything in the car and we were in the car and we were like, where's the palm? <laughs> and then we'd left it sitting in the street. Right. And this is the 70th edition of the Palm. And mm -hmm. from what I understand, the special thing about this is it's not only gold. It's got mm -hmm. a lot of diamonds on it right. as well. It's worth a lot of money, I think. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So we went back, we got it. One thing that is actually super cool about this film is that it's really, really funny, right? Mm -hmm. There are so many f really awkward, funny scenes. Mm -hmm. And I think that sort of uh, gets people. Mm -hmm. Um... I think what Ruben does really nicely is that he sort of, um, he's he's a master of, of these situations that you, I mean, you can always find yourself in them somehow. You always end up asking yourself, what would I have done in that very weird mm -hmm. situation? I think that's quite engaging. And I think that uh, that's probably what he's, he's very good at that. Yeah. yeah. I think it's sort of a snapshot of what the Western world looks like right now, mm -hmm. isn't it? We've got, I don't know if you realize this, but um, we've got this expression now in Scandinavia that is called scan guilt. Okay. Have you heard about that? No. 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 It's me. like male guilt or whatever, but it's like, but it's, I mean, it's been translated to scan guilt now, right. which is like, you know, feeling guilty about how fucking good everything is going over there. Mm -hmm. This is quite a thing in the film as well that that there are all these people with absolutely no money in the mm -hmm. film and 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 you have these and I mean this is a problem and he's sort of shining a light on in, the, in this film isn't he he's like he's saying well this is sort of what the society looks like right now do we want to change that or are we just going to leave it there mm -hmm. He wants to sort of see how far, uh, how far are we willing to go in order to keep our faces mm -hmm. and in, in these, in these social contexts. I mean, um, and his his thing. I, he said almost every day on set. He said nobody's going to leave the set with any kind of dignity today. Right. That's. <laughs> okay. I mean, uh, that's like his his thing. He wants to sort of right. break it down. I mean, he wants you to lose face. Mm -hmm. He's. That's the interesting moment to him, to get the characters to that spot where they sort of lose their face.